G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I am with Ian and we are going to minister uh, to 10 people. If you'd like to receive a word, just write your name in the comments and we would love to minister to you. Alright, so the first person I want to minister to is Marina Kleinans. Alright, so Marina, the Lord is showing to me how you are baking a cake and how you put all these ingredients into that mixing bowl and you put it in the machine and it mixes and it mixes and you do things with it to bake this cake. And the Lord said to me, daughter, you are manifesting the plans and the purposes of God through your life. And so sometimes it doesn't feel like you're busy with something big and something spiritual, but you are really doing what God wanted you to do and what you do is going to impact many, many people's lives. The Lord is very proud of you and He loves you very, very much. God bless you, Mara, now. Okay, the next word is for Umyuan. Umyuan, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you uh, having a flat wheel and then you go to the wheel and the, uh, the wheel spanner is already part of the mag and you just take it off and you make a plan and you take the wheel off and I just see how that flat wheel is being restored so the Lord said you've got all the tools you need to fix this flat wheel but you make you must make the decision to say I'm gonna fix this and when you're gonna make that decision you'll see everything will fall into place there's decisions that you make and when you make those decisions the Lord says I'm gonna be there to help you you need to move in faith it's gonna take some faith it's gonna take some action and then you're just gonna to see a wave hitting you where the Lord is going to bless you and, and bring back a lot of restoration in your life. I just see all of the dry bones getting new marrow in the joints and I just see how a lot of things that didn't work and flow as it should, how it's going to work and flow again as it should. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Johan, what the Lord is showing to me is that this is a new season in your life and that you're going to let your light shine, uh, that uh, you are going to be one that demonstrates the love of God uh, and the Lord says, I'm opening up new doors for you, new opportunities. And so don't hunger for what you saw in the past, but hunger for the new thing that God is going to do in your life and through your life in your future. All right? The Lord is really with you and His presence is upon your life. All right? God bless you, Johan. Okay, so the next word is for Joel. Okay, Joel, the Lord shows me a very, very fast flowing river, a big white river. And this is the beginning of the rain season. And then uh, you decide that you and your family are going to cross this big river. And then you cross the river. And then afterwards, big rains come and the river even increases. And you did the right decision at the right time. And I felt that the Lord says He's giving you wisdom for financial decisions and for spiritual, uh, uh, spiritual decisions. And do not fear when you feel you need to do it to delay, but rather say, I'm going to take action. I'm going to make these changes and in in, 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 in crossing this river. And then I see how the Lord protects you and bless you and you're able to move forward because you acted now in wisdom. God bless you, Joel. Okay, the next word is for Candace. Candace, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you entering a state of worship where you're like, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing now. I'm not sure what to do. And I just hear how the Holy Spirit says, trust me and just let go. And the moment you let go, it's like you fall into this cloud of glory. You fall into this uh, euphoric state where you spend time with the Lord. And it's such a renewing, restoring a session that you're going to have uh, but I just see how you connect to the Lord on a next level where it is it's going to be completely different from what you're used to uh, but it's going to start with worship and I just see how you when you start to worship it's like dance uh, how you, the Lord already made the first step you need to give the second step and when you take the second step I just see how things is going to completely change uh, in your relationship with the Lord but it's going to be definitely worth it be blessed Hey, uh, thank you very much, uh, Candice. Uh, the Lord is calling you a peacemaker and He's calling you steadfast. And that's, I see it's like written on your blueprint. And when you walk in that identity as a peacemaker and being steadfast, then the blessing of God is continually on your life. All right. God bless you, Candice. Right, so the next word is for Paul Basson. Uh, Paul, the Lord shows me a big tree that's producing stone fruit. It's like peaches or apricots that with those hard pits, uh, uh, pips in the, in the middle. And the Lord said to me that as you produce fruit, you bless everyone around you. But at the same time, uh, with the producing of the fruit, you're also producing those hard pips 
that then fall and it produces destiny and purpose in people's lives. And so I see how you come to someone and you help him, uh, you, you give him your wisdom, you let him eat of your fruit, but you also deposit, deposit that eternal seeds into their hearts. And that's not only happening to people that you meet at work, but it's also people at church, even your own family. I see how you deposit seeds of purpose and destiny into their lives. And then over 10 years later, you say, remember I told you that. And look now, all of those things are coming to pass. And I felt that's that words that you speak. God bless you, Paul. Okay, the next word is for Renier. Renier, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just see how things fall flat, how you try your best, but it just doesn't seem to work. And then you fall on your knees and you say, Lord, I really need wisdom. And then the Lord says, I'm going to help you. But it's not just going to be instantaneously where you know exactly what needs to happen. I just see how you're going to start. And as you use the wisdom that the Lord has given you, it's going to multiply. So every time you're going to do something, it's going to bring multiplication, multiplication, multiplication. So even though you're going to start and have to get your hands dirty once again, I just see how it's going to be so worth it because the impartation that you're going to give to the people that is around you is tremendous. And I just see how it's a cycle where you have to plant back, have to sow back, have to give back in order in order for the future generations to take up all of that that you have learned and carry the legacy on. Be blessed. Uh, Renier, uh, the Lord showed me um, a sailboat and now you were like a captain of the ship and you understand the weather and you saw a storm was coming and so you let all the sails down and you tied everything down on the boat and then the, the storm went over and it didn't bring destruction to the boat and then afterwards you raised the sails again and you could continue on your path uh, without any issues and I just felt that the Lord is giving you wisdom to understand the times what to do and how to walk in that uh, covering that God has for your life so God bless you Renier okay, so Michelle uh, the Lord chose me uh, like a big uh, fruit, maybe like a watermelon uh, or uh, avocado. And, and I saw how you cut it in half. And then the one half was kind of not ripe yet and it wasn't sweet. Uh, and that's the part that you ate first. Uh, and then you didn't, was not sure should you eat the other half because this half was, um, it was watery and it wasn't sweet. But then when you ate the second half, it was sweet and juicy and it, and it was just wonderful okay and so then the lord said to me that the first half is one year the second half is a second year and i felt that you went through a year where you say i ate it it's fine it filled me but it wasn't juicy it wasn't sweet i didn't enjoy it and then you here comes the second half and the lord says don't give up now so that you miss out on the sweetness that the lord is going to give you on the second half now i'm not sure if it's 100 percent one year one year but it could be a period and a period but that's what the lord showed me the lord loves you very much michelle god bless you okay the next word is for alida alida the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i see a fruit basket that you bring and the fruit basket is not completely full and you say lord what i have i bring to you and when you present that basket to the Lord, suddenly everything is full and you're like, wow, that is, that is good. So I just see how you give what you can and the Lord fills up the rest. Even though it's a gift unto the Lord, I see He gives in your basket so that you can give to Him as well. So don't be afraid of the future. Don't be afraid that there will not be enough fruit in the future. I just see how the Lord says, every time you give what you can and you do what you can and you do what is right, uh, the Lord will make sure that it is a perfect offering, a perfect sacrifice. And how He's just going to help you to present yourself to Him, but in a next level. Be blessed. Hey, Alida, God bless you. The Lord calls you His faithful servant. All right. So um, the next person I want to minister to is Barant. All right. So the Barant, the Lord shows me a 10-year plan. And I see in this plan, there's two kind of divisions. The one division is God's plan in His ministry in your life uh, and also in your family's life. The second division is your family plan. And I felt that you're going to work a double shift. The one shift you're working on God's plan, the other shift you're working on the family plan. And as you work on these two, they kind of grow together uh, to a point where the Lord gives you breakthroughs in many areas in your life. And I felt that the Lord says, don't neglect the family and don't neglect the spiritual. 
grow with both because God has a call upon your life, but he also called you to be a family man. And I just see how that 10 year plan come into fruition and how the Lord blesses you and how he also brings unity with you and our leader and unity with you and the destiny and the purpose that God has for your life. God bless you, Barant. Okay, the next word is for Berenice. Berenice, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just see how you come and you bring your offering to the Lord with tears. And I just see how, even though you might not have felt worthy, I just see how there's a restoration taking place inside of you. Because you know, the Lord is the one that can help you. The Lord is the one that you need. And I see as you present yourself before the Lord, how He just entangles you, how He just covers you, and how you feel like, oh Lord, I don't deserve this. But the Lord says, you're definitely worthy that I bring restoration to your life. And I just see how you're, you're not going to be the same. It's going to affect you tremendously so that your, your constant awareness of the Lord is going to be so different where you just feel the whole time you're going to feel connected to the Lord. Be blessed. Okay. Berenice, I see that the Lord is putting a lot of creativity in you. And so um, apart from all the busyness that you have in your life, set time aside to spend time with Him, but also to let that creativity flow out of you. Hey, God bless you, family. It was wonderful for me and Ian to minister to you. Uh, if you in the future also would like to receive ministry in this format where we put your name on the list, just write your name in the comments. We look forward uh, to minister to you. Uh, have a fantastic day. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.